Right, so we're recording. It's the first ever, I don't really know where to be looking. It's the first ever face to face podcast in the new podcast series I'm doing. Adam good. Redmond, how are you? I'm good, my friend. It's good to have you here in my in gaff. Yeah, we'll ask about the glasses. <laughs> ask about the glasses. Yeah, so before the podcast, you were asking why I always wear glasses in the live streams. Um, was it Casey Neistat? But now it's, I actually got hit with a stone when I was a kid in the eye. And if you look, you can see one of my eye pupils is bigger than the other. Can you see that? Yeah. So, one of my pupils just lets in way too much light. So, like, I get a big headache. So, if you close one eye, does it look different? Yeah, like, the colour, like, looks different. Like, the brightness level looks different. And if I go to the hospital and they shine, do you know the way they shine the torch in to mm. see if your pupils react? One of them doesn't. One of them's just like, fuck you. Just always look like you're on some sort. Yeah, yeah. so... Who threw the stone? Did you know the person? I was about 10, and I don't know whether you did it, but when we were kids, we stone used to ones. throw muck balls oh. at each other. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> it was like 10, and this girl came up, and she had a big mammoth muck ball, and she just went, <laughs> yup! And the thing, the thing, right, had a stone in it, like a sharp stone sticking out of it. She didn't know. And it like cracked me right in the temple, and I went instantly blind. I had to run into my mate's house. I was crying. I was telling his man blind, and she was like, "Ah!" And I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> I went to the hospital. Uh, I had a big patch on my eye, so I had a patch and a prosthetic leg, so I looked like a proper pirate <laughs> for like six months. Just a parrot, yeah, you? just a parrot would have uh, would have got me there. But uh, yeah, that's a, a great way to start the first ever face to face podcast. Yeah. Have you done many podcasts? This is my fourth. Oh, so geez. it could be rusty for anyone watching. Yes, your fourth fourth podcast. So tell us a little bit about. What you do on YouTube for maybe people watching on my channel who haven't seen your channel. Um, your YouTube's doing very well at the minute. You have over 20,000 subscribers mm -hmm. and a regular thousands of viewers on each video. So for anyone um, that doesn't know me, I pretty much give harsh opinions on everything that's happened in Ireland in the last week. The only reason, like, I try to divide opinion and pull in views that way. Like, I'm going to say something that you're going to agree with, but he's going to be fuming. Yeah. You'll agree, you'll nod your head, but he'll send it to his man and go, look at this prick. But you say what you think on your channel, mm. you know what I mean, which is refreshing to see, and that's why... Not to everybody. I'm, not to everybody, but I'm a fan of it because I think uh, YouTube and society in general lately are kind of almost scared to give their real opinion mm. on how they really feel on things because they feel like if they do that and it's not the opinion of everybody else that they're a bad person or that they don't want to deal with the grief, whereas... You just say it as you see it, which is which is a hard thing to do, especially on YouTube, especially in twenty twenty. There's a thing that like everybody can say whatever they want to say, but it's if you can take the backlash from it. Like I'm gonna say something, you're gonna have an opinion, and the thing that puts people off from saying what you want to say is I'll get upset by your response to it. Whereas mm -hmm. I don't. If you like, if I say something and you go, oh, you can't say that, I'm gonna say I can fucking say what I want to say. Mm -hmm. Whereas if he wanted to say something and he's afraid that you're gonna say it back. He won't say it. That's why people say you can't say things. As, well, you can't say this anymore. Times have changed. But they haven't. They haven't really. It's just the way of thinking has changed, I think. And, and, and everybody has a voice now with social media and mm. stuff like that. What made you get into that style of video where it's, you know, kind of like a news in a... In a I call you the Philip the Franco of Ireland <laughs> because it's, <laughs> it's kind of similar. Obviously, it's your own style yeah, and it's your own take, but it's... It's kind of like local news that's happening in Dublin mm. specifically and Ireland and it's condensed into a couple of minutes long video with your opinion as well. What made you get started into that? Was it, was it always like that for you? Or um, I made like shitty vlogs for years. The way everyone does when they start YouTube, it's like I'm going to learn how to use a camera, learn how to edit. But it wasn't consistent. Like I post three videos in three days and then I stopped for a couple of weeks. So I was like, I need something easy videos to make so what I do now it's, it's very easy to make it's like 5 hours I find something online I talk about it, I post it so I wanted something to like kind of challenge myself so I've done it every Tuesday 6.45 consistently um, I think over the 52 weeks of the year I think I posted 54 times oh, nice. so I threw in like 2 extra videos on a Saturday and it was like a challenge for myself and I knew it would grow because everything is very searchable very clickable yeah 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 and yeah that consistency is like can help a lot with YouTube like Momentum. as yeah as we were talking about before the, the, the podcast like if it's one thing that I've done wrong over the last couple of years with, with my videos and shit mm. it's just like I just make videos when I feel like it and just throw them out and expect people to 
to watch but I think that time and, and consistency must really fucking help you gotta do it when you don't feel like doing it that's yeah. the only way you're gonna grow like I feel like you do it like purely out of fun yeah, yeah whereas yeah. when I was doing it I was like I'm doing this to grow in a way it wasn't those times I'm gonna be honest it's not fun making the videos I make they're not the content I wanna make I wanna be out there on fucking public stuff public pranks that's what I grew up watching yeah, you know yeah. Roman Atwood yeah 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 you think he's the sole reason I make YouTube videos oh okay from like maybe 13 when I was in second year going home watching his pranks and then watching his vlogs and I was like I want to do this exact thing make a living living a life pretty much so it's interesting that you've you're kind of doing the opposite of that I know, way, you know? <laughs> because it's an easy way to grow the way I've seen it is if I can grow an audience doing this I can grow an audience by doing something even funnier a lot easier like what I'm doing now it's not difficult as I said like if I want to make put effort into content and treat content like a baby and nourish it it'll do so much better which but were you surprised with the regular fan base you got or did you know that if you did them videos every week that you were going to get such a follow on because there's people who fucking love your videos now and love your that, mm. that newsy type video and even when I was doing the little shitty PS4 live streams um, a couple of months ago people were popping in and saying oh you have to do a video with Adam Redmond he's a legend and all like a few different people had said it um, were you expecting that you kind of said you were earlier but were you fully expecting I wasn't expecting the... so many people to jump on it mm. like at the start of the year January 4th I think I had 350 subscribers and by the end of March I think I had 10k that's nice Within Holy three shit. months. I think at the start of March I was at a YouTube event um, in town I was like volunteering on that because I knew the people I had 750 subscribers I mean Alka Sun was like oh do you make YouTube videos as well I was like yeah I have 700 subscribers I've doubled it in the last three months and then by the end of that month I had like 10k nice holy the, shit the very first video I had popped off but popped off three months later so number one of the series popped off in March and what video cool. was that that, that um, kind of went crazy it was about a, what was it a group of lads from I think Talent robbed the car and I pretty much called them every name under the sun and they, <laughs> they got a big reaction like their fathers their uncles everything your legs are getting broke all this oh, sort of stuff and then I kind of questioned I was like do I keep making these videos? Um, I have. <laughs> you have. <laughs> That's one of them. But uh, did you, you tackle these subjects that nobody else tackles and I think that's why you get such views because the way you do it, it's like we all, in Dublin, we all know what's going on. Like mm. There's a lot of crime that's happening in Dublin and a lot of ridiculous shit. But for some reason or other, um, it's not really talked about online. When you're with your mates, it's talked about a lot. Mm. Did you hear what happened down the road, dude, the other night? Or did you hear what happened down in, you know, Tala or, or whatever? I'm just mentioning any fucking town, by the way. Fingless, whatever. Um, it's always talked about amongst groups of lads and, and, yeah. and, and girls. And when you're in the pub, you talk about what happened over in... With people of similar yeah, opinions yeah, yeah. to you. But it's something that I don't think has really been done on YouTube the way you do it where, where you're talking about it publicly mm. and you're giving your opinion publicly you're not just giving the news but you're you're giving your opinion on how you feel about those people which is which is fucking dangerous man I know it's you brave know? it and is stupid brave. at the same it time it is do you, do you get do you get like do you ever get like a bit scared about the reaction or about if someone actually takes it too fucking seriously when damn people well I'm like Dublin's a small place yeah it is it really is like, you know, you don't go many places in Dublin without getting recognised no. and making videos. No. So I was like, when they started texting me this, I was, I don't know who it was, some radio presenter around Dublin had texted me and was like, listen, ease off this. He was trying to explain to me that we can talk about this because we're in a, a corporation, we got systems in place, the guards are contacted. If we get any message like that, where I was like, I'm on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, people can find out where I live at the drop of a hat and stuff like this. Is it scary in a way? Like, what's the worst someone's going to do? They're going to they're gonna hit me a punch. Maybe break a leg. Are they gonna? Are they gonna shoot me? I fucking hope not. But like, um, <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, you can't say this. Uh, you're so, what is it? You're so mean, and you're a bully for slagging these kids that have robbed the car. And I'm like, listen to what you're saying to me. You're giving out to me for saying that someone is bad for robbing a car, and they were defending the people. I was like, ah, oh, come on. Mm. So. Yeah, it, it's like, how could you be bullying somebody for, you know, I don't know. Like, morally, to... I felt like I was doing the right thing. Yeah. So what's your most, like, what's the most controversial video you've done where you're like, this is, people are... Like, threatening me? Yeah, like what? Yeah, I don't know. That was the first one, but the, f the video I got the most hate about was, there was a time where they got rid of the real where you have to wear, not the guards, you have to wear the caps. Mm -hmm. They got rid of that so that you can allow Muslims 
join the Gardaí force and wear turbans mm-hmm. and whatever. Um, and I agreed with that. I got so much abuse from people in the comments, and I lost, I'd say I lost 500 subscribers in a day. Holy shit. Of like, just all these 55 year old Irish men. No, oh, that's ridiculous. Our culture, this, this. The Muslims are taking over and all this. And I was like, I'd be fairly open minded. I'm like, that's okay. So when you see a topic that's divisive, do you get like a bit of a boner? Are you like, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> to be a hard get in like, here. This is mine. Yeah, Adam Redman. Yep. Uh, a couple of weeks <laughs> a couple of weeks ago when like someone was protesting the lockdown we all know our name oh yeah when well, yeah, they yeah. seen that happen I was like this is going to divide the pig Gemma Gemma o- Gemma o- Doherty. Doherty yeah 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 the biggest gee bag the biggest Karen in Ireland well she is just oh, <laughs> I have no awards for that woman like there's people going to watch this that are going to oh that's my master you can't slag her but I can because she's publicly putting herself know, out there yeah, yeah. to to give her opinion. So, but in a way, does that mean that we're publicly putting ourselves out there to be criticised? Definitely, but abused, not abused. I'll abuse that woman though. I, think <laughs> I, I don't like what I'm telling you. Good. I, I wouldn't abuse her, but I definitely, I'd say, yeah, I'd say she's a bit of a dickhead. Mm, do you know what I mean? I, but that's that, that's that's an opinion. You're not necessarily abusing her by saying that, and I think she has thick enough skin to be able to take a, a, a criticism mm. from. One lad sitting in fucking fingers in the sitting room with two cameras in front of him. Um, but yeah, she loves the attention anyway. She I'd say she loves when her name gets brought up. But, but that's one of the videos like that I seen like her and I was like, I know because I've mentioned her before and I've got so much hate and DMs and stuff about it. I'm like, oh, you can't talk about her. That's yeah. that's a lady. That's a fifty five year old lady. I'm like, that's not. That is a fifty five year old smell bag. That's what that is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> now I don't know too much about her. I was thinking about doing a, a deep dive into our um. Into her, into, in, into what? <laughs> a deep dive into a deep her dive. vagina. No, a deep dive into what she does and why people are going so berserk and mm. trying to do a, a, a kind of short documentary reaction style, mm. kind of like, I don't know, as we see in H3H3's videos, kind of does stuff like that. Um, we, so I was kind of I was kind of thinking of doing that. So I actually don't know too much about her, so I'm mm. not going to criticise her too <laughs> much. But I did see one video where she was like, melting off at a guard for like trying to keep social distance and when the 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 coronavirus was mm. at its peak and i thought that was a bit dickheadish so that's why i said the dickhead statement but i actually don't know too much about her so before he's all jamie wants go to mad at on me. Eggs, yeah yes. yeah before he's all I'm bad to say about what we just said <laughs> send them my way i'll take the yeah, before he's all go mad at me I, I don't know too much about her she could be a lovely lady but from what i've seen it doesn't look that way um so yeah you, you tackle these subjects with with ease but did, is there ever ones that you're like about to do when you're about to hit record on and you just go fuck actually no that's too much because I, I do and I don't even make really as controversial of videos as you do um, mm. well in some ways I do um, but not about the news but there's been times where I'm like a comedy sketch and I'm touching on a subject that I know is divisive and I'm about to record I have it written out and I'm like ah fuck it comedy is different to opinions yeah it is me giving an opinion not, on a subject is seeing it is different that's why I'm saying yours is, would be more controversial but there are people that don't get comedy videos as well and they take them as mm. offensive and think that there's, there's certain subjects that shouldn't be touched on in comedy like I did a video one time where it was like a, a comedy sketch about do you know that song where it's like we like to drink with Jamie because yeah. Jamie is our mate it was like the, the whole idea of the sketch was like these lads are too enthusiastic about that game right so even when he he comes home from the pub He's, he like wakes up at four a.m. to take a sup of water, and the lads are like, "We like to drink with Jamie." Yeah, yeah. At the end of the bed, so he next to point, but then he's cleaning the bathroom with bleach. <laughs> the lads are outside, and they just pop their head in and go, "We like to drink," and he drinks the bleach and dies. Um, but the whole that was just a comedy sketch. But people, people, a few people in the comments, I deleted the comments because I don't. If I can delete the comments, I'll delete them. If they're pe- if people are just being dicks, mm. if they have an opinion that's different to mine, if it's a if it's a Jamie J Car asks video. And it's it's a, it's a, it's an opinion piece. I let them. I let everybody give their opinion. But when it's a comedy sketch and people are like, you can't do that. I delete it straight away. But there was a lot of comments going, man, that chap's drinking bleach in the video. Mm. That's not right. But like, it wasn't like condoning drinking bleach. It was the, the comedy. Well, sketch. this is what I don't understand. You watch a film and you can watch someone get beheaded, and you're not going to send a letter to the producer and say, oh, you can't put that in. Like you watch Game of Thrones, you see people getting beheaded every week. And yeah. Nobody gave out about that. That's the thing. Have you watched it? something in the cinema? Someone to drink bleach and. I wrote himself in the cinema. Yeah. Now that's taking it like in no, deep but, way, but, but it does happen in, in mm. films, and and it's if you're making a short film that's going on YouTube, I don't see why it has to 
follow on different reels but that's what I don't really like about YouTube at the minute I'm not one of them that moans about YouTube I don't even have to write because I, I don't even have enough subscribers or followers to be moaning like oh YouTube's this and that but I don't like the way like YouTube years ago like people there was a show I used to watch where it was like um, I can't think of the name of the fella that used to make it but it was like he did vlogs but they were scripted vlogs so it was like a a fake vlog but it had mm. a story to it, a plot and people used to get shot and all in the vlog but I thought that was grand because it was like it's like a soap opera mm. and it's made for that way and it's for entertainment yeah purposes. like and but YouTube don't he had to stop doing that on YouTube and he made his own you know website which didn't really do well he didn't get many views then after it but um I don't I, of everyone in, sorry to question of everyone on no, YouTube who would you like say I like or what style would you take well I, I think you're my favourite ever Adam. <laughs> 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 no, 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 who do you think you are uh, I know you mentioned H3 a minute ago. Who do I think I'm like? Mm. Oh, Jesus. Are you just completely original? No, I wouldn't be completely original. Obviously, I've been... Um, You've done so many different fucking stuff. Yeah. Obviously, though, I've been... I've been moulded from what I watch, you know, growing up and mm. stuff like that. But I'd like to think I'm original. I don't mm. I don't know if there's anybody with one leg, sunglasses <laughs> that talk shite uh, on, on YouTube. So, but no. Just one. Uh, yeah, just one, but... No, I think, I'd like to think I'm original. Obviously, I take different traits from different things that mm. I enjoy or different things that I find funny or live streams that I like. You know, I take different traits from, from each of those things. But I think I I think I think do it differently. What about you? What, what about yourself? The style I do, you said Philip DeFranco, although I've never watched his videos, but I think I know kind of what he yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I might have, no, will he? No. I might have robbed a, a touch of his videos. Do you know? I might have robbed a touch of his videos. Um. But again, I just want to get away from it. I want to do pranks. Do you? So you 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 don't want to do them anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for anyone that has come from my channel and is watching this. And all, like there's some no, people. No, that's that's at least you're being honest, like and you know what I mean. Like does I don't necessarily love going out to the streets and doing the street videos, mm. but they do fucking well. That's now I, I do enjoy. enjoy. I enjoy interaction with people. Mm. I love it. But I don't enjoy getting on the train to go out to the because this is for the new thing I'm going to be doing mm. where I'm travelling for ages and I'm standing in the cold and I'm asking you know 30 people to talk to me and only one like yeah. most of them say fuck off <laughs> you know? and one person says yeah that's not necessarily enjoyable so it's refreshing to hear that at least you know you're, you're honest and you about what you want to do so what, where do you want to take the content what, what do you want to do do you want to keep doing what you're doing to build your audience and then um, I think um, I've built it enough now and to you have it, built it enough to the point where I think I've exaggerated it um, I don't think I'm going to get much more from doing the style I'm doing. Like, my growth has slowed down so much. Like, I'm at, I mean, 22,000, but I don't think I'm going to gain much more from just doing it. Yeah, I might get some views, but I don't think... I think everyone that is going to subscribe has seen in Ireland. I think you will. But, I mean, Irish content, there's only a certain amount of people in Ireland that watch it, that true, watch YouTube, true. and there's only going to be a smaller amount that actually like it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which, definitely, yeah. as a contrast in character, like, you're yeah. already half in that. That's def and that's, that's a real Irish thing, though. But like anyone who's different is strange not not all Irish people but it's there's a big thing in Ireland and I don't know if it's in the UK as well I'm not sure but in America I know people are a little bit more supportive of what well, of, see of everyone people. says that but like, we don't live there we don't know what it's like within the community well uh, yeah but I, I just I, my, the majority of my audience at the minute for the live streams are American mm. and like and they love it yeah but I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. You could be right. Yeah, maybe it is the same in America. But it seems like in Ireland, if you're a little bit different and you do things a little bit differently... You don't go to 9 to 5. You're heavily judged. Like, do you get stick when you started? Yeah, I still get stick now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I stopped getting stick. Um, I think I'm getting taken a little bit more seriously now because you know I have the degree, which, mm. I, which I worked in college hard for for four years. I, I've made some serious stuff like documentaries and some short films and... I think when I did the Mike wrote the Mike Hunt and Peter Foyle sketches, um, they done really well. So kind of mm. on Facebook, like they they had an amazing amount of views. Well, so people do well. People have slagged them for doing. Yeah, well. so if you it's get hundred views, people are like, oh my god. Yeah, I I, I, I got some validation then because mm. there was people like, oh shit, he actually does have a little bit of talent. He can write success. stuff. You know what I mean? He's not just a plank in front of a camera. <laughs> You know, um, so but then there's then again, I, you'd still get the odd, I still get the odd comment saying you're a one legged retard, shut your mouth, or you know, or, or is uh, that hurt? Uh, 
I to be honest, no man. It used to, you know, in the early twenties. If or if I did, if I did something, someone said that I probably would. But I don't know if you like talking about it. Yeah, no. Um, I don't mind talking about it. No, like, I don't. I don't mind talking about it at all. I presume you get a lot of stick online for it. No, surprisingly not. Not a lot. Like the, see, a lot of people don't know. Yeah, I'd say as as my audience grows, mm. there'll be more like comments in it, but. I kind of find it funny like I'm past the stage of giving a fuck like I'm yeah, nearly yeah. 40 years of age I always say this to people like, oh, like kids are always like oh how do you deal with the bullying and I'm like you just get older yeah that's exactly it and also the fact that I have kids mm. and I look at them and if if like my my eldest now is seven um or seven or eight. <laughs> Maybe it's saying he ran off um, your leg or something yeah but if he if he when I look at him going to school and if like I do say to him sometimes when he's gone to school, I'm like, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you. It's mm. what you think of yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? And for me to say that to him, and if I don't fully believe that, I'd be a hypocrite. Mm. But I want him to believe that. So I kind of, I think having kids helped me with that as well. Mm. Because like, I'm taking my own advice. I don't really, obviously I love if people enjoy what I'm making. And if they don't like it, that's okay too. And if they want to say something stupid, I, I don't care. Like, honestly, I don't. Mm. I really don't. Kids help everything. Yeah. You know, like, for most people watching, probably don't have kids, but kids are like pure balls of happiness that just yeah. absorb everything. They don't hate anything or anybody. They don't slag anybody. They might say, oh, he has a big nose, but that's not slagging. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just, yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. saying yeah, to yeah. say, like... It's like, uh, as well as that, they put things into perspective, like... Of what's important. Yeah, like, what's important to me is my kids' health mm. um, and hope they're doing well and me family you know me girlfriend and me 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 um my mom and dad and me sisters and brothers and as long as they're all right and everything's all right in my little circle i couldn't give a shit what if someone calls me a peg leg yeah. wanker or a pirate <laughs> in the youtube comments i'm not gonna Sorry for laughing. no that's fine i'm not gonna like lose sleep over that yeah, do you yeah. know what i mean because as long as my little circle is is okay and everyone mm. in my circle is doing well that's all i care though you well, know hold you if someone inside the circle said it in a hateful way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Mm. I'm not fucking... I, I'm, I'm half robot, but I'm not fully robot. <laughs> like, I don't say this. Like, I don't care what a stranger says, but if someone that I care about says something about me, I'll, I'll kind of take it on board. Like, people yeah. call me, you bald bitch or something, because I go bald. <laughs> but, like, if my business says it, it's kind of like, oh. Yeah, fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. Like, I feel that, like... Yeah, like, I'd say, like, sometimes I'd read a comment and go, fucking wanker. You know, like... <laughs> But it wouldn't be something that years ago, like, if someone said something to me, it'd stick with me for that night and I'd be lying in bed going, I should have punched his head in. Oh, I should have digged him. Why did I let him say it? Do you know what kind like of stupid... person? Yeah, yeah. Do you know I what? often think about it. I'm always like, if I ever go back, if I was to go back to school, the only thing I'd do different is I'd hit more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. I, got, I got bullied a lot in school, so I'm like, I'd love to just go back, just to pick up a chair <laughs> and just <laughs> hit people with it. That's it, but... I think if you can just let go of that, it doesn't mean that. I know, yeah. I'm a completely different human yeah, than I was in school. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, years ago, I used that used to, shit used to keep me up at night, mm. you know? And them type of comments would keep me up at night, you know? And I remember I released, a, when I was, like, 21 or something, I released, a, I don't know, I could have been, I could have been a bit older, but I, it was my first proper YouTube video that kind of went, not viral, but it got a lot Done of... Well especially on Facebook, it was called One Legged Rapper and it was meant to be me joking, pretending that I'm a rapper and I made a song, I'm a one legged rapper, that's who I am. I'm a one legged rapper, I don't give, give a damn. I'm a one legged rapper named JBJ Carr, something like that. I can't remember the exact cars even anymore. Um, but a lot of the lads that I used to hang around with and people that kind of barely knew me around here, like gave me so much hate on, on mm. Facebook, like, and that bothered me back then. Because you tried to rap because you had one leg? Because uh, they, they thought that, like, oh, my God, he thinks he's a rapper kind of a thing. Yeah. Which I didn't. It was a joke. Mm. You know what I mean? But I remember when that happened, I was like, that that kind of, that, that hit me hard a little bit. I was like, mm. fuck, man. <laughs> you know, people think I'm a big wanker. Ex-friends. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of, I kind of, I had to reevaluate and grow a lot to kind of, like, go, oh, fuck it. I don't care what people think. And um, I think that's why I respect you so much for just doing what you do regardless of what people, what people say. say or what they think you know what's yeah. it like in your comment section is it is it is it's it toxic at times is it yeah yeah but I respond to everybody I, like if someone calls me a cunt in the comments I'm gonna call them a cunt straight back <laughs> people would be like oh no I'm gonna turn this person into a subscriber that'd be nice if I fire before you call me something I'm gonna call you something like, oh Jesus no I couldn't do that but I like, just delete like 
Don't I, I? The only time I've ever deleted comments is if someone has commented under my video and someone has replied to their comments slagging them. I've deleted that. Comment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, because yeah. you don't know who's like someone might say something nice about me, mm-hmm. and then someone might slag someone, and the person that said something nice could be fourteen years of age, and I'm not having a twenty-two year old man slag a fourteen year old. Yeah. Because you don't know what their mental state is. Yeah. Like I can take everything. I always say in my videos, you want to slag someone, slag me. Yeah. There was a video I done a couple of weeks ago, kind of controversial. It's like it? the first public thing when I went around town. And yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. controversial. That was very controversial. So tell, give people a bit of background into what that so video was. Before, so I said a couple of times already, I want to do public stuff, public pranks, funny stuff. Um, this, might, this might not seem funny to some people, but before lockdown happened in Ireland, um, when like the coronavirus was only like entering Europe, so I put on a hazmat suit and I put on a mask. And I just wanted to see what people in town thought and get a couple of reactions. The two people that I was doing a bit kind of let me down because they were cautious of what happened online and what people are going to say. One's completely blurred from the video if anyone watches it. Um, you're kind of afraid of what people are saying, whereas again, I'd like, you say what you want to say, I'm going to do it anyways. Mm-hmm. But uh, it got a fairly good reaction. It was got an, a radio interview and I lost a lot of subscribers on it, but like, I didn't hear that there, but like, I don't mind. So you were in town and you were dressed up, in, you were fully clothed in a, in a hazmat suit and you were like, I think you were at one stage, you were like holding someone as if they had the virus. So I, that was me, I was in plain clothes and my oh, mates okay. yeah, had yeah. hazmat suits on because yeah, you yeah. couldn't see their face anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. the hazmat suit. And I just wanted to walk like into place and someone come in and be like, pull me out because no one knew what was going on with the coronavirus. No one knew how it was spread or at. So I just wanted to get cold, be like people. Yeah, this, this was at the start before it, like proper hit Ireland. Mm. There was no lockdown around at this time. I don't even think there was a case in Ireland at this time. Yeah, match. there wasn't. I don't think there was. There was an Italian man in it. Uh, in the video which is kind of funny and he's like I don't believe in it I I am Italian but we are it was on the news uh, how many people were like sick in, in like Italy and stuff but it was just a funny reaction in town the only one person that gave a stick was a business owner in Temple Bar came out gave a stick what did say because um, I was I was outside I wasn't even filming outside, we were just talking or something she was giving out to us saying she was in business over us it's not funny and this and this like, our sales are down and I was like you're arguing for the wrong reasons if someone's going to argue and say oh people are dying I would have said alright oh, okay my bad. But she came out and said, oh, I'm losing money. And I was like, I don't care about that. And I was mm-hmm. like, get the shot, get the shot. And mm-hmm. we tried our best. But I knew it was going to be controversial. Yeah. So, yeah, what, what I thought was, yeah, that, that, that was. But the way, you, I think the way you went about it was just a bit of crack. Yeah, it wasn't you know, slagging people just trying to, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just having the laugh with the with the. But what I said to me mates was, like, people die every day, but people still vlog in a car. Like, people die from car crashes all the time. People die from drinking all the time. But they still vlog themselves drinking. So why can't I vlog myself walking around in a fucking painter suit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, similar. I think it's a, a little know, bit different. I know it's but... a little bit different, but it's similar in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people die of everything. Does that mean you can't talk about it? You can't... Again, it comes back to, like, making jokes or making comedy about That's stuff. That's it. Like, and that, that wouldn't be normally my type of video that I'd enjoy. Mm. But I still respect you as a person. Mm. And, and uh, you know, it wouldn't change me judgment to you which is i think what we need more of you know mm. in, in in like less judgments yeah no just like right just if someone does something that you don't like it doesn't mean that they're not a good person or that they're, they're, they're not a nice person i've got a pe- couple of people that are still subscribed i say i don't agree with this but like they'll still come back next week. yeah yeah like, well, like that's good that's refreshing to hear that like i talk about seven different topics or something every week and i give seven different opinions and i'm gonna agree with every exactly. single one exactly exactly like myself and pepper me over there like disagree a lot of the times and shit, but we're mm. still like best mates. Do you know mm. what I mean? I still he's still a gobshite, but like <laughs> <laughs> he's sticking his finger up. Uh, he's a legend, but we disagree, and and I think uh, I just want to see more of that in the world if people disagree on things, just to be able to but still get on. Yeah, talk about it. Like, I hate you yeah. because you said this. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. in a relationship, you argue which I misses all the time, but you still love each other. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like you don't have to. Oh, she doesn't like the way I leave the dishes there. We're breaking up. She likes Coronation Street and Gilmore Girls. And <laughs> I, I don't want to watch that. I hate it. Yeah, I, I want to watch some violence. Yeah. Like, she doesn't like football. That's it. But don't like, I'm not friends with you anymore. Like, it doesn't yeah. work like that. So, what videos have you got any plans for the future in terms of? I think, in my opinion, but like, obviously, you, you're gonna do what you want anyway. But I mm. think you should stick with the news videos this week in Ireland. Uh, yeah, I think you should. Maybe, maybe just do it once a week. Or how many times do you do, I do it once a week? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go see how much you watch. Yeah, well, I do watch. I do watch. Uh, I do watch. But you should. I think you should stick with them and mm. you know explore other avenues as well because I think if you keep doing them for another two or three years, you're you're still gonna keep building, while and it gives you the window to do other stuff as well. I that's just my opinion. 
Um, I it's... could continue with this, and then I got for anyone who's watching, I got on Twitch soon. Nice. We we'll leave soon. a link in the we'll, when you do go on Twitch. We'll, we'll put come it, back and leave yeah, it here. Yeah, underneath. Uh, it could video. be a, it could be a couple of months away. Yeah, yeah. Right. But like, um, I think I have a certain outlook in life that a certain like group of people enjoy or look at. Similar to everybody, you're gonna have like a small portion of people that are like, yeah, I like this person. I, f- I agree with everything he says, mm-hmm. and they're the people I want to entertain. Like, I like entertaining people, mm-hmm. which is why I kind of like Twitch. It's like a live stream. It's as natural as it can come. I think that's going to that, that's gonna do very well for you because you're you're well able to talk, mm-hmm. you know. You're you're quite animated. I stutter sometimes, and sometimes so I can't, I. Pronounce, I can't so pronounce, I. pronounce me R's sometimes. So do I. Stick for. I can't pronounce certain words sometimes mm. that are... I can read them in my brain, but when I say them, they come out like arse ways. It's like the way my mouth is shaped. I can't say rabbit. Most of <laughs> I've got rabbit. It's, it's just always been like that. I've always got a stick for that pronouncing my yards, but I'm like, there's literally nothing I can do about it. There's just nothing you can do. It's just something I bought with it. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're gonna, yeah. So you're gonna be, are you gonna stick with the nails thing for a while, or, or what? What way are you? Well, I can't film that now with fucking coronavirus knocking about, so I can't mm-hmm. get out and do pranks. But soon enough. Well, we're going. We're uh, we're coming out of it now. Mm. I think. I think we're moving in the right direction. Hopefully. To be fair, I'm winging it right now. Like, I got weak. I, like. When I'm making a video, I wake up on a Monday morning, I look on the internet for about an hour, I'll film it, I'll edit it, and then I'll post it the following day. There's not much thought process into what I'm doing. But I think I can, I don't know, I can do the same format, but for like the rest of the world, if if that makes sense. So I'm not just targeting an Irish demographic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind of make it worldwide. Like I'm so limited right now. Is, I know your, is your audi- audience, um, sorry, I'm just going to get a drink. Is your audience... Mainly Irish. Um, seventy percent. We have to think there's fifty. What's it? Fifty or forty million Irish people worldwide. So all the people that watch from abroad have Irish heritage. Like the Irish family living here. So that's why they're watching. Yeah. Because they want to hear like a harsh Dublin accent or or they just like to look at me, which is unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a uh, my my audience is like sixty percent of USA, mm. which is weird. I get a lot of people asking for subtitles in my videos. Yeah, because sometimes yeah. I talk too quick and you might not understand what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah. I have a friend that makes you. I talked quick, there, didn't I? Yeah. I have a friend that makes YouTube videos, and any time I'm in it, oh, fuck, I can't speak. Any time I'm in his video, he'll put subtitles on the words I say, and he won't do it for the other six <laughs> lads that are in the same video. I don't know if he does it out of spite now, or he just he thinks people need it. Well, I think you're you're fairly understandable. My mm. accent. I think we have very similar accents. We talk the same. I yeah, think. We only live fifteen minutes away True. from each other. Like True. people from Cork might not understand me. Yeah, especially people from England or America, they talk way too quick for them. You have to dumb down stuff for Americans. I know you. I know it's a lot of Americans watch this stuff. Sorry, that he waved them. Sorry, that's my opinion, not his. No, you're yeah, all right, man. They're they're well able. They're well able for a laugh. I think if they if they watch <laughs> if they watch my channel, they're able for a laugh. They can call us leprechauns. It's, it's grand. Um, so yeah, you've you've started you start off doing vlogs. Mm. You've you've moved on to the to the news thing. Um, we're talking about how you've kind of dealt with hate and stuff. You've told me in the past, or I think on your one of your live streams, that you kind of not. I don't know whether you lost a lot of friends over starting YouTube, or you you gained different friends or something like that on your. Um, I don't think I've lost friends. I've got stick off my friends. Like I've only got like a close group of four friends. I say close. You see them at a funeral. Christening or a birthday that's the only time you yeah, see yeah. each other because everyone's got their own kids as you get older that happens everyone's though, got their own kids own Fuck. jobs no one has time to be going out sitting on the wall like. I know I miss that though yeah I know I miss being able to just go out for the just sit on the wall just, to be <laughs> just sit there and then <laughs> still do it it's just yeah it's just not it's very strange yeah, it's it's not as, it is I was on a walk with the with the girlfriend the other day and we were walking past the green I used to look you know everyone had a green where you just chill with your mates mm. and I was like what if we just chill and just sit she's like, ass. you can't like, and I was like, why? And I'm like, it's kids playing clothes. Yeah, it's like field. you can't just chill anymore. <laughs> it's weird. I don't want to be told you. Until it wants to about chill about. in the field and you've got a house. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sit. Yeah, I just want to sit on a wall and fucking go to the shop and get a couple of kill pops and a, a chocolate milk. Forget about life stresses. Yeah, that's all. Oh, it was so easy back then. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't. But in a way, it was just so easy. You just like your plan for the day would be get up, go out. Not for your mates. Yeah, not for your friends. 
Go to the shop. Yeah. Chill out. Have you ever read ours? <laughs> yeah. Ten and Bend, we call it. Ten and Bend? Yeah. You, you, you that scored. sounds a bit doing you. It, it kind of was, but... <laughs> no. It was like, you score ten goals, they have to bend over and mm. all the lads yeah. ride them. I'm only messing all the lads in. There's going to be people from, like, the American audience won't know what that is. <laughs> all the lads kick the ball off their arses, give them a red arse. Red Game of heads and bodies. Remember Curbs? Yeah, I love Curbs. What did you call no, it? Curbs. Curbs? Not no, curbs. curbs. I know people that call it Pats. Pats is lame. You can, you can call it Pats. You can call it Pats. You, you have call it Pats. That. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to give him Pats, bro? <laughs> You get, I remember you used to play curbs or you say curbs that's alright though it's not as bad as Pats but you used to have to you'd get like 10 points if you threw it over the car mm. <laughs> you'd get them focused on so you dangerous. stop like 10 metres down the road and they're like these are going to come out to us they, they didn't like that yeah. or if you get, you'd get 20 points if you threw it over the car backwards so sometimes you just wallop off the wheel you used to do points for trying to have a boy so they the piss <laughs> yeah. in the bike you're like you're ducking his head going past <laughs> yeah oh god and then if you, if you got it you got to go into the middle mm. and you'd like get like loads of points in a row and he'd be bouncing back at you and do you deal with that I want to play curbs again I can go out and have a game after this <laughs> he should so he just cut, be chilled you should just do a cut away at the end of what's playing curbs <laughs> you can do a full video of tutorials of Irish kids games yeah. every road I wonder do let me know American comments I don't know which camera to be looking at Um if you play curbs in America I wonder do they do I don't think they do they play weird games because you never see that in like <laughs> <laughs> you never see it <laughs> they do play weird games but they all just I don't know throw, throw ball a baseball to each other they have a basketball hoop in their drive-ins and they play touch wheelies down yeah. the back of the <laughs> <laughs> they play catch with a big mitt yeah <laughs> like a bunch of cats with their father come on outside Billy for some catch Let's play catch. The big Asics. Have you ever seen them in the films? They go, do you want to go troll ball, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> if my dad ever said that to me, I'd slap the head off. Why is this the sort of roast in the I don't know. We love you, though. It's grand. But it's just funny, the differences. Um, what other weird games did we did we play as kids? Spin the bottle, but I think everyone played that. Mm. And you'd have to, someone would dare you to kiss the girl you didn't like. The girl, I was playing with family. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Doesn't know what's happening. Pepper Meat's sitting over there. He's the technician, and the board just popped <laughs> him back in the wall onto him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the first, the first, the bits. Imagine how the cotton in the head and blood starts. <laughs> All people see is blood spraying in our face. And we have to continue on with the show. <laughs> just keep the camera rolling. <laughs> <with it. laughs> Paramedics, <laughs> just stay on the shot. <laughs> I think all of us got a friend. I think even with that felt, people are gonna see a reaction. Both of us were like, oh, fuck, that's someone's coming in to do a raid. <laughs> Sorry, give me a little. Hold yourself, this is a face to face podcast. It's just cause right? like it's divorced face to face. And it's kind of got down on his To be fair, that was flirting with you from the start. Before it was even started, he was trying to put this little hole onto a little nail and he was like fucking two minutes straight. Nobody said that. He was just trying to put it back up. <laughs> no, he didn't know anybody was watching, but I was secretly watching. <laughs> He's laughing because he knows what I'm talking about. Stop it. it was like this. He was like trying to get it on. He just kept missing the hook. Right, so what just happened there? Is this still recording yet? Yeah. There's a big, I have a, a dream board or a goal board that I put notes on. It's one of them big cardboard looking things. What do you call them? Uh, a, a pin board or something. Yeah, a pin board. You pin notes onto it. And, uh, You've actually got just, a name on it that we mentioned here either that you said you didn't know much about. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> it. No, it did. <laughs> After you said it, I was like... No, I did say I was going to do the deep dive. Remember, that's yeah. why I have that written down. Um, and it fell off the wall and nearly killed uh, Ross. <laughs> what would you rather? If you had to pick one, hit Ross or your monitor? Ross. <laughs> Is that French of lies? He knows it. Is that, still, is that still working? Um, right, what time is it here? Sorry. I don't know where we are after that. Yeah, so where do we go from here? <laughs> I don't know. I just...
just got <laughs> No, you didn't. It's funny. You're I added to it. Back. Yeah, I added it. Funny there's a looking that way. Might as well play one of the sound effects while we're while we're around. That's not your animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't speak as fucks. So I need something to go right here. Um. Yeah, what other Irish games is there that we used to play? Um, that Tip the can. Tip the can. I never played. What was that? I heard yeah, people talking about it's it. It's like you stand at a pole, you count or whatever. You come around all their mates are hiding in the neighbours' back gardens. And you have to try and find where they are, but they can get to the pole before you have to stay safe or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's mm. kind of like we used to, I think we used to call it 40-40 for some reason. Why? I don't know. We were so playing with 40-year-olds. <laughs> We used to play a game called uh, Bash the Letter IRA. We used it's the same. I think it's the same thing. You used to have to just punch the life out of people until they get their letter. letter. Yeah. yeah, and it, like you used so, to have to guess a word. What what way it used to work is like. <laughs> I'm not being uh, like in any way political here. This mm. is just a game we played as kids, yeah. and I'm explaining how we played it. We didn't know <laughs> anything about politics, so it was like we called like one people or one team was the mm. English. And the other was the IRA. So the English <laughs> would chase... Maybe just refer to it as cops and robbers. Or no, but this is how we used to play it. The English would chase three lads. <laughs> and they'd have a letter IRA. And the English would have to figure out which the letter was. But like, I used to be like a, a hardy bastard. Like, I'd get the shit. But I imagine right? that's because you got caught first. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you would have to be good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But uh, yeah, they used to kick this. I used to go home with bruises all over me when I it was, was fighting you. Like, I was playing a game. Yeah, on the ground, they'd be just laying into you, slaps in the head. Like they mm. wouldn't dig me in the face, but it'd be you know you get yeah, but you get full force digs. Yeah, in the yeah, 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 yeah. Never Proper. in the face. Oh man, what a game! What did anyone to do? Play that? In we used to do it. Was we'd have two teams, and it wouldn't be IRA. But one team gets. We'd all pick our own letter, so we'd pick like uh, rat. Like someone would have RAT. So if they found it out, and they go, "Yeah, what is rat?" We go, "No, you're wrong. It was tar." We'd always have it like switch back oh, or start nice. and back. We do it that way. Nice. But we never do IRA because they're not going to guess it every time because like, they know what the letters are going to be. No, but what it was like, it, 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 they had to get you to say it. Mm. If you didn't say it, even if they guessed it, mm. it wasn't like you just the whole our way of playing it was we had to say it. We used to, um, we used to as well get a string and tie it onto the door of somebody. The apple? No, like onto someone's knocker. And we oh. tied and pulled the string. <laughs> <laughs> and you just let the string loose like it was like just a t- like, I say a fishing line yeah like and mm. we tied against the wall and the person would open the door and they'd be like what the fuck and then they'd close the door and one of the lads just go you you I wonder if a knickknack's a thing bro I know it's called a ding dong ditch or something ding dong ditch we do uh, I don't know if we used to do knickknacks a lot just for the crack we'd have the same amount of 55 year old people that would be classed as pedophiles or something as our kids and yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah. And there was should, always we'd shake this person's gate and chase us on a bike yeah yeah I'm not always, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do, do it but, yeah we used to have one called Larry the Bollocks <laughs> <laughs> his name yeah his name wasn't Larry though so it's alright he just had a big bollocks no Larry the Bollocks he used to he was like he was the one house that You'd only do it like every so often, and it'd be well, like. And one of the lads was out. Yeah, like, I'll do it. Larry. I'd be like, "Will we do Larry the Bollocks's gaff?" And because Larry the Bollocks, right, used to do laps around the park, and he's a really big, tall fella. Mm. He used to do one shorts and all, but he was mad as as a brush. Mm. And when he when you did it on his house, he used to come out no mess at me. Swear to God, with a hammer. <laughs> like one time he got a young player and kicked the shit out. Of him. He didn't hit him with the hammer, but he kicked the shit out. Of him. But I remember one time we did it, and uh, we like I'm not condoning it, but this is what happened as kids. We knocked on the door. We did a rough Go on, Larry, Larry, you bollocks! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you Larry, you bollocks! He a hammer comes out, and he just boom, boom, and I was on the back of like a chopper bike. Do you remember the chopper? Oh, yeah. So just hanging on, and one of my mates was small and fat, like, and he, was, he wasn't cycling very fast, and he was like, so he pushed him he off. Was, now he was that close to catching me, like, I could just still remember his hand, just like, oh, nearly on me hood. I was like, come on, you, you could <laughs> trying to smack him out, as if he was a horse trying to jock him down the road. But, uh, yeah, they were crazy times. I don't know if those times happen as much now with social media and Playstations and 
Xbox. I know we had Playstations and stuff, but mm. we didn't have such entertaining games like Fortnite and online gameplay where you can play with your mates all and talk to them all at the same time. See, not everyone could afford Playstations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. everyone's man dads were like, not spending fucking 200 euro for you to play games. Get outside, like. Definitely, definitely. It was yeah. so much different. Like, was, the difference 15 years makes, even 10. It was. Because, like, a PlayStation, if one of your mates had a PlayStation 1 back then, it was a big deal. Mm. Like, coming here even now, there's literally, there was no kids outside around your area. No, no, I came in here. No. Years ago, you'd have little bastards throwing stones at your camera. Yeah, there'd be loads of people. Mm. We'd probably wear them little bastards. <laughs> um, but I suppose it's a good thing, in a way. <laughs> you know, but we used to have big uh, football meetups as well, like, where like 11 people meet up against 11 people and we just go to a green and we'd all wear boots and shorts mm. and stuff as well you don't see that at all anymore I think mostly I actually done that the other day did you? yeah oh. I, know. <laughs> I know technically I shouldn't but I wasn't with kids <laughs> <laughs> it was a bunch of grown adults like. no that, of course you could it's, it's, it's again football fuck it um, but yeah you don't see, you don't see as much though with teenagers mm. I don't think do you? No, big football not, matches on greens not, really. not as much as you used to I know that like in the estate I live in there's like five kids that all play football all day every day so you got bikes and the little bastards you'd be driving home and out of nowhere these comes to come out of the garden on the bike and wave at you and you're like I just nearly knocked you down like, <laughs> get off the road and wave at me like. yeah so do you get recognised much from doing YouTube um, yeah well obviously not during Covid and things I haven't fucking left the gaff much but um I'll tell a story. The worst time was like people following me car home on a bicycle and knocking on the door and I'm looking out the window at them and they're waiting for a picture and then like the following days later they're doing knickknacks and I'm still looking out the window and like, I can see us running away. Oh no, so like, you're trying to live doing yeah. knickknacks on the gaff. These are like the people that live around the estate and stuff. But I, I get don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, don't knock on me gaff. I've got a three year old like, or four year old. The chap has his own life. He makes some YouTube videos. Mm. He enjoys doing it. Don't knock on someone's house like an absolute twat. And another thing, don't climb in my fucking car. When you see yeah. me in traffic, don't try and open the door and climb the car for a spin. Seriously though, if anybody's watching this and they they, they kind of know where you live. Or not even me, anybody. Yeah, like, don't yeah, yeah. Come that's on. not cool. If you're doing knickknacks, uh, uh, nobody uh, said we're doing knickknacks, but like, if you're doing knickknack, yeah, do a run off. Do a knickknack if you want. <laughs> yeah. Fuck do off. But don't be like constantly doing it when you when someone has kids. like It's not cool. Because like, there might be a 13 year old and Bella watching this with all his mates and he mm. knows you or, or me and they know where I live they're like Ugh. it's it's not cool to do that because people have their families I said this in know? a YouTube video before anyone that watches me I said it before and I said if you come to my house I'm going to pepper spray <laughs> as a fucking joke I got reported to the guards oh shit that. did you well someone in the comments left an absolute hefty essay about how pepper spray is illegal I've reported it to the guards and stuff oh, all this shit like, no you can't be threatening kids well that. also <laughs> knocking on someone's gaff and fucking harassing them is illegal yeah. as well but uh, I think yeah that's just don't do shit like that it's not cool and if I, could, if I could go back and like not do them knickknacks and you know because I don't know what was going on in them, them people's yeah. lives when I'm there like that with the string I would go back and not do it because it's not cool but mm. it's funny to look back on and have a laugh about because we're past it yeah but and you know that Larry the Bollocks hasn't fucking done himself in as yeah, a result yeah Larry, Larry the Bollocks is still a bollocks and he's still <laughs> being Larry but uh, sleep with his hand no, yeah <laughs> But yeah, if I could go back and not do that shit, obviously I would, and I'm a different person to what I if, was 15 years here's ago. Here's the thing, if someone comes around here banging down your door, like your kids are doing knickknacks, what, what do you say to your kids? A seven-year-old. You know, what do you mean? Some, like, if your son's out doing knickknacks and he gets caught? I would say, look it, I know you're only trying to have a laugh. Do you go with an iron fist and be like, oh, no, I, I wouldn't do that, but I would be like, look it, I know he's having a laugh, mm. but you don't know whether that person's happy or mm. sad in the house, you don't know what day they're having I try and explain why you shouldn't do it you know what I mean so I think a, a, a knickknack's okay a little innocent knickknack as long as they're not doing it every day at every night yeah, yeah. Uh, like I think that it's, look it's an innocent thing but if they're you know targeting a specific house and they're mm. always doing it then it becomes more than knickknack and it becomes harassing but you do know? you think that Larry the Bollocks might have enjoyed the thrill of chasing kids with a hammer uh, yes <laughs> I think Larry the Bollocks was sitting <laughs> at the window yeah, waiting sit, sit at the end of the stairs barring the yeah, door like knock, knock today Larry the Bollocks it's a different thing <laughs> Larry the Bollocks he, he, 
he's a different beast like it, that chap probably killed a couple of people in his life you know what I mean? he's a different animal but i'm talking about like if there's an old lady or if there's a, i'm not saying i did it for an old lady's house but, but i probably did once or twice or if there's a, a certain family like don't, don't just don't pick on them you know if you're having mm. having a bit of fun have a bit of fun it's a bit of a laugh getting a chase or whatever well, if less than if you're bullying any bully the bullies yeah exactly I'm you fucking know. picking on with people exactly exactly how did you get through COVID anyway what any advice for staying in how did you keep yourself <clears throat> entertained because I think we're I think hopefully we're coming out of it now mm. Um, so this could be a, it's been a topic amongst my YouTube channel especially through these podcasts Um, so I have to kind of touch on it in each podcast hopefully we're coming out of it now but mm. what did you do to to keep yourself occupied during pretty much diddly squat like if if I said it was easy I'd lie but I've had a rough time. And as anybody has, like it's been mentally rough, you've had bad days, you've had good days, but like it's just like anything in life, like it's nothing you can do about it. If it's not something you can change, you shouldn't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Realistically. Not, like I've still been walking. Like I'm not gonna say what what, what I walk has, but mm-hmm. like I've still been walking. I stopped for about a month. Because like if my dad gets if I end up bringing it to my dad so it's not gonna live at home, but if anyhow like I end up visiting him or and my dad got it, he's dead. Dad, mm-hmm. if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, like, sorry, Adam read him, Dad. But like, he, he, he'd croak it if he got sick. Mm-hmm. and uh, So I stopped for a month and I was like, the, the amount of people that are still like knocking about. And he's like taking it serious. So I was like, I'll go back to work. And then mm-hmm. it's kind of life is normal. The only thing that's a little bit tougher is uh, trying to entertain a child. A four, she was three at the time, she only gone four. Trying to entertain a four year old child for so long yeah. of the day. Like, usually you take skill as like for granted. I'm not saying I like to get rid of her, but like... I know exactly what you mean, though. Waking up and having no routine, you wake up, she's like, what are we doing today, Dad? Can we go to the park? And you're like, I oh, actually, so we can't. Or can we go to Plex? And you're like, it's closed. And then she's like, she can't hug her cousins, she can't see her nanny, and she's like... One of the days, she drew a picture. Mm-hmm. We were doing art, and she drew a picture. And my son, uh, it was like a window. And she's very good at art for like mm-hmm. a three-year-old. And she drew a whore. Well, she drew a face... And another face, and uh, she had sad face. And she's like, "Look what I do, Dad!" And I was like, "Oh, very good." Set the sword, and I was like, "What? What if the kids got sad faces? Oh, because it's sunny out, and they can't play with each other because of the coronavirus." Oh, Jesus! I don't cry often, mm-hmm. but I had tears in my eyes. I was like, "Ah!" I was like, "This is like even mentally affecting children who are like, as innocent yeah. as that, and involves yeah. happiness who don't deserve mm. to be." Who, you can't, grown can't up comprehend of what's happening. Like, yeah. I don't see my mates. I was like, I don't give a fuck about if I see my mates, but like, it's horrible being able to. See Go on, have and fun. It's also, you kind of feel like, Jesus Christ, we didn't have to deal with this when we were growing mm. up. Like, we'd never had to deal with it such a long time of being mm. having to stay in. And for uh, for our kids, for that to happen, to it's like, oh shit. Like, my son missed his communion. Mm-hmm. You know? His communion was supposed to be a month ago, <clears throat> and it didn't happen, and I just... Upset. I felt so... Yeah, well, not really, but... He was religious. Uh, not really either, but it's like it's it's it's, it's, it's a tradition. Day, isn't it? yeah. It's a tra- it's tradition for me more than anything else. Mm. Um, but he was looking forward to it, um, and obviously that didn't happen. And I just remember thinking, "Holy shit, this is really serious." You know, mm. I mean, the he's missed his community. Obviously, we'll do, we'll reschedule it and do it, and it'll, it'll happen. But I felt so bad from that. He didn't do anything, you know. Well, none of us did, but like just feeling helpless as anything as a man in life is this yeah. not a sad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, there's yeah. literally nothing I can do with this situation. Yeah. But then, here, here's a chocolate bar to cheer up. Yeah, exactly. Or here's some fucking V books for Fortnite. Go, go play. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's the, that's kind of being the worst thing about it for me as well is like seeing the kids having to suffer with it and not being able to go to school and they're not really suffering because they're you know they're very versatile kids as mm. you know but like they are but they just don't know it do you she, know what I mean she, like, mine's an only child so like she I don't even know if she remembers what her friends look like she was in crash. Yeah, she yeah, know yeah. all her names she used to love going to crash. and now she's not going to go to crash because she's going to start primary school oh yeah so she's never going to see them kids again I and mean, she does she's probably going to be 25 in some nightclub oh, in town no, yeah. they're not going to know so each other they never had like a kind of little party to yeah, say like goodbye a, a going away that. party yeah, yeah. and it's and like bag of jellies and it's, it's not like you can be like there's some man that's collecting this kid oh here, give your phone number because I'm going to FaceTime you and you can let the kids talk to each other because you never got the chance it's just one day oh this place is closed crash is closed so you can't you don't know who's the parents for them to talk to each other around. sorry about that Um. yeah no exactly I get you so um, interesting question that I wanted to ask you actually don't mind that that timer we've, we've another 10-15 minutes left anyway what was um 
how do you think because you're very opinionated I'd love to get your opinion now, how do you think Irish people have dealt with the virus in terms of social distance and true mm. I don't know. Uh, what do you mean? Like, do you think we've done well? Yeah. Like in containing it. Yeah. Now, right. when you think of like, what's, what's the active cases now? Like, seven, eight hundred people. We've had a thousand, nearly two thousand deaths or something like that, which is minuscule compared to other countries. Obviously, our population size isn't there, uh, isn't thing. But I think we've done well. The government acted a little bit late, but again, like the World Health Organization. I don't know when this is going to go, but the World Health Organization came out yesterday and said that asymptomatic people can't spread it. And all this thing about kids. Did they? Yeah, it came out yesterday. Asymptomatic people can't spread it. And that you mightn't even be able to get it off surfaces. So all this fucking sterilizing shit might not have been working. Mm-hmm. Uh, I listened to John Rogan talk about it earlier as well. But they came out and said that. There's so much misinformation about it. But like, you better say than sorry. Better lock down the country and sterilize your hands just to be safe. Um, I haven't known anyone personally to die from it. Neither have I. But my heart breaks for the people that I've had. I know people that have had family die of it and they haven't been able to go to the funeral because only eight people can go and there's 15 people in the funeral so half of them are sitting at home. Uh, that's very sad. Like death is a... Uh, everyone dies in a way. Well, not in a way. Everybody fucking dies. But it's a, a, a very touchy subject and if you can't attend the funeral of a loved one yeah it's horrible man. Um, I don't, like if my dad was to die of coronavirus I don't think I, like it would have been stopped me from going and fucking mourning his death like, mm-hmm. like, I'd, have been, like, I'd have been sitting outside even if there was a limit of people you're like uh, listen fuck everyone else in the world uh, there's someone like, like you love that you care about I want to go mm-hmm. like, treasure this moment no, that, sound, that sounds so weird no that sounds no that sounds exactly what you'd feel like if you mm-hmm. were you know saying goodbye to somebody in your close to your family mm. well, like that's oh, very hard to say but like there's so many businesses that are still open which is what confused me like there's a lot of fast food places that are still open and you preach social distance and this way loads of places stay down but the chefs in the places aren't fucking socially distant and here's another thing how tell me how getting fast food is essential but going to a gym isn't true what, what kills you quicker true being obese or being healthy True. And I understand food is essential, but that little that little fucking like glitch in the system that could have been dealt with. Also, um, what I my my like thing that I'm on about is the shops. The way you're like, I agree. Everyone should be social distancing. Um, even anyways, get off my back. On yeah, the exactly. Day, like. Yeah, but the way they do it is so ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Like the the shop that I go to a lot, it, it's happening in an all shop, so it doesn't really matter the name of the shop. But you queue outside and you, you do your, you know... Two meters. Yeah. And as the queue goes miles along the car mm. park. But then when you go into the shop, everybody's fucking on top of you anyway. Yeah, see, just going past you, picking up the milk mm. and doing their thing. Like, so it's like, Jesus Christ, if you were taking it seriously, let two people in the shop at yeah. a time. Who cares about if you're waiting a, uh, yeah. an extra half an hour? If we're going to take it seriously... But if, if, yeah, if you're taking it that serious to do the fucking whole thing outside the car park, at least do it properly mm. and get like two people in at a time instead of having ten people in the shop or whatever it is where everyone's still just crossing paths with each other grabbing their shit. Now, I think, obviously, we're coming out of it now, so that's kind of irrelevant, but that, that was my gripe. Mm. It was like, what's this just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, but even the two metres... Like, that's like my, I always say like the speed limit is a limit not a target so like you, you're in a 60 zone you're going to do 50 mm-hmm. like if you're supposed to be 2 metres away you can stay 3 metres away from you yeah 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 people yeah. are still on the back yeah. and like if I was to sneeze like if I sneeze now I'd sneeze in that wall over there like it's going to go further than 2 metres yeah. so if Pepper meets over there 2 metres away from me and I sneeze it's going to land on his fucking face <laughs> <laughs> like, the two meters doesn't make complete sense to some like if you're talking and a bit of speak comes out of it's not going to go two meters but if I yeah. cough or sneeze that's gone further than two meters I was going to do a video on this where I was going to put down a sheet of paper on the ground and I was going to like it was going to be about fucking American YouTubers not understanding social distance because mm-hmm. while they were on lockdown they were all still there was a chap selling like selling a couch seeing the videos knocking around Logan Paul's got Jake Paul's oh yeah, 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 yeah and all yeah, and I was going yeah. to do this and I was going to do a demonstration of sneezing and trying to fire it going like fucking lip buster stuff yeah yeah that would have been good mm, I left it too late though. I left it too late now it's fucked. I didn't act <laughs> it's fucked now it's fucked <laughs> no but I, listen I'm glad that not too many people have lost their lives in Ireland yeah I um, think I think um, it could come back I think overall people definitely dealt with it a lot better than I thought mm. they were going to I thought that fucking madness was going to start happening I really when this first started I was like Jesus people are going to go mm. nuts and start 
fucking battering each other. Anyone that's came from my channel now, I've absolutely scaremongered people. I was like, stay at home, don't kill your nanny, don't kill your fucking neighbour. So did I. But when I you think of... Same. Like, I'm not an expert in any way whatsoever, mm-hmm. but... Is, is it as serious as people said? No. Like, the average age of death from the coronavirus in Ireland is 83. The average age of death in Ireland is 81. Mm. So that shows you the ages people are dying from the thing. They're already on their way out. You've had a good life. Not, not to, like, fucking push them aside, but, like... It's not affecting the people that we thought was going to affect. Like, I thought, I, if I get it, I was like, I'm fucking snooker. I was like, I've got lungs like a fucking rat. So, yeah, I thought the same. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking a jet, heavy, heavy smoker. smoker like, mm. So, I you was like, like, I'm I'm gone, lad. See if I, <laughs> see if I had a good run. Talking <laughs> through the levels. I made a few videos. <laughs> but I genuinely thought, I was like, even if it doesn't kill me, I was like, I don't want to be sick for fucking two weeks in bed not being able to breathe. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what scared yeah, me. yeah, yeah. 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 Everyone's like stacking up a toilet well, roll and all. I was like, stack up on fucking lamps. That's what I was, yeah. I was Something's like, gonna make fuck you toilet roll. I want your ass with me jumper if I have to. Shit in the shower, I've washed the back up myself. Here's a question. Segway. Yeah, yeah, go for it. When's the last time you've shit yourself? And do not lie and say you've never done this it. This is weird. This is the second time this has come up this week. In a podcast? No, I was asking Peppermeat the other day, I think. Um, I had this conversation with people the other day. Yeah. Like, three of the six people I asked said, yeah, we've shit ourselves. The other three are lawyers. Pepper me said he's never shot himself since he's a kid. Since he's a lawyer. He's behind the camera, by the way. Since he's um, a kid. Since, but, yeah. But, I uh, I don't know. Probably a, a, maybe a couple of months ago, I might have <laughs> let a fart out and, and a little bit of poop came out with it. That was very silly. I thought it was going to be like 10 years ago. I remember oh, how... Oh, like, I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. I have an arsehole. Shit comes out yeah. of it sometimes. It doesn't like... work the way it's supposed to. Like, if I eat... Oh Jesus! I'll tell you a story. I was dropping me young lad to school about a year ago, right? He's probably gonna get a stick for this in years to come. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, so I, yeah, sorry about that. But I re- I, le- I left the house. I did, felt like I didn't need to go to the toilet. But it was first thing, bang out of bed. We were late. Got him up. Come on, out. This got his toast. He had his mm. toast w- w- running down the road towards the school. Um. So he it's about fifteen twenty minute walk to school. Got to the school gates and uh, as I was walking to the school, I felt my stomach like. But it wasn't just like when you need to have a pill. It was like, uh, like a, a weird feeling in a, uh, in my stomach. Hold on, I'll wait till that goes back on. The oh shit! Can you just run off this? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll just run it's off this because right. we're only going to be for five minutes. So, uh, we'll just we'll run off we'll run off this one for the for the last bit of the podcast. So if anyone's wondering why, um, because the other battery died. But anyway, I got this weird feeling in me in my stomach. And I just thought, like, oh, it's just because I'm up early. Like you can hear air bubbles. Yeah, it was horrible, right? And then I dropped into school, and I could have, thinking back in retrospect, as a public toilet at the school, I could have mm. went in, but I didn't, because you know, nobody wants to, yeah, you don't want to be going into the school, like, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> Jesus, your dad would have been smelly shit in the school. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so I left, the, I left the school, and just, like, two minutes, I started to get worse, but it was really mm. intense. I started to sweat profusely and it was like I had such a feeling like a cramp. that if I didn't fa- like let it out I was gonna die I was like so you just accepted it you were like no I just let it I was running I was running I was going past the like and obviously I, I don't run that fast so I was skipping up the road and I was even like looking at the park and I was thinking jeez I don't know, I'm gonna have to run, jump into the, the park but then I was like it's nine o'clock in the morning there's people walking the dogs I can't shit in the park yeah but you so, could just ask them for a doggy bag oh <laughs> my god was one of them. I left the home and it was horrible the whole time I was like I'm gonna shit myself I'm gonna shit myself I managed to hold that and I just burst in the door I left the front door open and just do you ever get the closer you the get whole to the toilet down. The more you need to go, it's like you know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah, as yeah. soon as you pull your cax out, you couldn't hold it for another second. Oh, but if you man. were taking longer walking home, you would have been okay. I painted the toilet, like I repainted the battery. I, it was rotten bad. Sorry to disgust anybody. I was in primary school right years ago. Normal, like probably second class. There was something. always that kid that shit himself. It's a funny thing, right? So I'm in school. After lunch, don't know what I had, probably like a butter sambo and a chocolate bar or something. Sitting there in class, and I'm like, right, squeaky fart. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, it kind of feels warm. Oh, not in school. I'm like, can't go to the middle of Yeah, go to the toilet. Went to the toilet, bam, 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 pulled down my cacks, and I was like, oh, oh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to us all. I don't care. There's a skinny butt, like, it doesn't go through your jocks. So you, take your, you take your jocks off, you clean, clean your bum holy. Right? <laughs> I wrapped the jock soap so the shit was on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Under the top, walk back into the class, know what happens. <laughs> hell you, Mark, hell you, Peter. Sit back in the seat. 
Oh, you're at your bag under the table. The mate's like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't, don't, don't. Pull, it, pull out your lunchbox. It's now empty. Little plastic lunchbox. <laughs> yeah, stuff, stuff the jocks in. Bad. Safe. Sweating. You're like, nobody's seen, nobody seen oh. that. You get home. I forgot about it. <laughs> Your man takes out the lunchbox. <laughs> man takes out the lunchbox. And I'm like, the fuck is this? I'm like, I should be set on skin. The only thing she said was, why did you bring them home? I was like, I thought I would have got in trouble and I know that like Penny's jocks is not like some Calvin Klein things like shit myself with a 14 but like that was the first time I think I've absolutely shit well, myself imagine, imagine the whore opening the lunchbox <laughs> I just gotta give this a clean out to put the sample in and it's like just it's a whiff. fresh pair of fucking shite jocks in the lunchbox and it was wet it wasn't like she just open to like a brown banana like a little log just sitting in a bit of tissue like I remember a lot of my class scores lad in my class obviously I won't say his name and Jesus Christ if you're watching man you're sound don't worry about it you're a kid like but <laughs> you're in like junior or senior <laughs> and he went to the he went to the toilet we had prefabs because they were building a new school and uh, <laughs> I have another one. That he was in the toilet this. for ages right and then the teacher just goes where's I won't say his name and all of us are like mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> and Like obviously this teacher was real like calm, always collected, just went, Oh my fucking god <laughs> <laughs> He had shit all over his hands and rubbed it all over the walls. I don't know. And I just remember sink. I just remember the whole class getting up and just like Law, like Law and Order was lost in the class and they were all just <laughs> looking in and he was just with his pants down with shit on his hands. <laughs> Oh fucking hell! Like, Pepper me knows that's a true story. I've told him that before. There was a time where I was in. Di- Sorry about like this made shit talk. Yeah, I was but in look at Disneyland. Where it, it like, literally is shit talk. I was in Disneyland with my cousin and my ma, and we were after having some film. I remember walking back, and I remember just getting this film. I was like, oh, remember when you go somewhere foreign and you get yeah, like yeah, soft yeah, that yeah, pills yeah, in the usual because yeah. you're not and used to the film. The humidity and the heat as well. That happened. I was you. walking and I'm walking back to where the roller coaster at, and I'm like, oh fuck. And I was like, what's wrong? Did you forget something? So I'm like, oh. I'm like, I don't know where this film's coming from. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I have to go. I'm probably like 15. I don't know my way around fucking France. My mom's like, what are you doing? I was like, I have to go. <laughs> I just started running. I find the nearest restaurant. I'm running. Can I take it? Oh, have a table for a minute. I'm like, just running past and find the toilet. And I mean, I swear to God, it was like a one realm thing. As soon as I opened the door, I pulled my cax out and torn. And like... It just fucking like a paintball going all, all over the wall, all over the back of the seat. Oh, uh, god. The relief, I couldn't even sit on the toilet to finish going because there was shit all over the toilet seat. Oh god. I literally did it, cacks down, and then I was like, oh, it's such a relief. You're torn around, and it's like someone has been shot, and it's just blood spread. It's the worst thing. You clean ever. that up, and you just leave it for whoever walks there. And the worst thing about it is, I think, as you get older, it gets worse. Like, uh, like if I don't, I ha- when I get up, I have to do. I have to like make sure I spend a couple of minutes go on the toilet place. before I leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as but when you're younger, you just you get up. You don't care. You, you don't care about. It. I'm only twenty nine. <laughs> maybe like, I think maybe it's, it's it's increasing for me more than others. But yeah, I, I, I definitely don't have as strong as uh, bells as I used. Oh yeah, I have weird bells. I've never been able to control my pill. Like I sit in the toilet. I go. I sit down real quick. Plop plop plop. I'm up. I wipe my ass. Not many people can sit there for half an hour and squeeze out every little bit. <laughs> I don't do that. I, like, I, I wait till I need to go and then I sit down and I just go plop, 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 straight into the water and then I'm gone. Like, in and out, like a jiffy. We gave him, like, do you go in and have a shot? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, why are you so quick? I'm like, oh. it was like touching cloth. It's King Kong's finger popping out. Like, it's just ready to go. Just gone. Listen, Adam, it's, we've gone a little bit over. We've talked a little bit of shy. Oh, it's been shy. a it's been a pleasure to have you here for the first kind of face to face podcast in this series of, of podcasts that I'm doing. Episode number ten mm-hmm. as well, which is a big number. The what do you think of it? Do you, do, you, do you like it? Do you think it's worth to keep should I keep doing it? Should I think it? it's fantastic. I Thanks. Think, Massage think... my ego. Nah, I won't that say that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. No, seriously, I actually I genuinely am looking for feedback. Do you think it's... Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's good. Yeah. And I think it keeps pepping me occupied over there as well. Yeah, um, as long as he's not smashing up to... If you put the trousers back up, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to hit record on both. You get these legs. You're joking? Because that one turned off twice. You definitely hit recording that, did you, actually? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> he's testing patience now. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, at least we'll have the audio no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify. Well, I always do that. I um, so yeah you've been a tent guest where where do people go check it out if they want to yeah. see what you're doing if anybody fancies 
see more of this face. You can go to YouTube and type in Adam Redmond. And as I always say, if I don't come up and doing something wrong, so I don't deserve to be found. So there you go. So type in my name. Redmond. Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, same. Snapchat, Instagram, Snapchat, Instagram, Adam Redmond. The links will all be in the description anyway. Um, and hopefully we can do a few more videos um, outside of the podcast. Mm. And also, with this podcast, I kind of want to have the same guests back every couple of weeks. So mm. hopefully we can, yeah, yeah, yeah just have the chats. Like so if anyone wants to see me back, smash it like that. Yeah. And, uh, and leave a comment if you want to see me and Jamie. And please subscribe to the fucking channel. Yeah, People are watching and they're not subscribing lately. Um, so if you can do it, like it really does mean a lot to me too. Caution not subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can come back because uh, I'm trying to do this full time now. You know, I'm, you I'm, can. T- I'm 30 in November. I want to make something of this. So you need your help though. Yeah, I do. But. Just thankfully we have a community of people anytime I make a video now mm. there's still the same amount of people that watch it so Don't I love you, you for that yeah sexy sexy cunts so go check out Adam Redmond on YouTube as well we won't shake hands because we're still just coming out of the virus but um, you can kiss me on the <laughs> if you want <laughs> 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 <laughs>